shotgun as we saw it with Florence. He'll throw far side, and that ball dropped at the 20-yard line. Second down, 10. Florence wants to throw. Wide open, 40-yard line. One tackle broken. Williams after the drop. First down, move the chains to the 46-yard line. 90th reception on the year for Terrence Williams. Watch this stem right there, and then he breaks to the outside. No chance for Justin Gilbert. A terrific route runner. It's one thing to be more athletic than everybody on the field. It's another when you're a technician like Terrence Williams. Terrific route. A gain of 27 yards. Baylor once more. Quick throw on the hands of Norwood. 45.6, number three. Could be a shootout in Waco. Late in this season, he's been fantastic. Cut back, middle of the field. You saw that stat, the top two scoring teams in Big 12. Look how far they are spread in this formation. Rarely do you see two players outside of the numbers for the Baylor Bears. That is a lot of field to cover defensively. They convert 46% of the time on third downs on the old keeper. That's exactly what it does. I just talked about the formation creating space in the middle of the field. And then, guess what? No levels. Look at that hole. Easy blocks for the offensive line. They get up to the second level, and it's an easy conversion for Nick Florence. Baylor, hurry up. Little pitch and catch. Norwood bumped out of bounds. Art Bryles is one of the smartest in the business. You watch the percentage of plays that go towards the Baylor bench so that it makes it easier for him to substitute and go quickly and more difficult for the defense to do so. He's a very intelligent guy. Second down, two Florence on the play action and through behind, incomplete. 103 plays against OU. Near hash kicks up. And good from 39. So Baylor and Oklahoma State, they've traded early field goals.